Brothers are walking around with the egos, man. But who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Honestly, who are you kidding? And you know what you're doing with your time? What do you want to be like? Do you want to be like the prophets and the sahaba? Or do you want to be like, why have we chosen the life of pranksters and thugs? Why have we chosen this life over the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Please tell me, what is it? Do you think there's happiness in that? Do you honestly think there's happiness? I'm going to share with you facts. These are the things you don't hear about. But the brothers here, especially those brothers that used to live that life and have genuinely changed and repented. You know, these people, they actually need to start speaking up a lot more. Why? Because when someone like me speaks, people think I'm twisting the truth. Wallahi, I tell you exactly what it is. You know, my brothers, these people, you think they're happy, eh? When you and I see pranksters outside on the street, we think they're happy, don't we? Why? Because he's driving a hectic car, when he walks into a particular area or into a particular place, everyone gives him the respect that, you know. Well, so we think these people are happy. But truth, fact, wallahi fact. Look, you cannot run away from formulas that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, fact. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً Any person, a prank star, not a prank star, he's just busy. Any person, any individual that stays away from the remembrance of Allah, stays away from the deen of Allah, stays away from the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Any person, ask yourself, am I miserable? Yes. Why? This is the formula. Any person that stays away from the deen of Allah, the promise of Allah, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ For him is a miserable, wretched life. 